everyone and welcome back to Horsehaven and we are here back at Hearthstone Ranch for a very exciting moment. It is going to be the birth, the birth of our little one. Look at this, our new little foal, the Rocky breed. And we have our little girl, Wings, who is ready to be born and we need to move her into a stable. But all of the stables are currently full, so what do we do? And the answer to that is we are going to move a couple of our horses over to the French ranch so that hopefully we can keep a good grip on everybody that we have right now. Oh, though it looks like Apple might have to go pretty soon, but I don't want to lose Apple any sooner than we have to. So we're going to try to get around having to sell Apple by coming over to our little train station here. And then we can set the train station up to send, I'm going to send Apple over and we can transfer her. Oh, and it's going to take two hours. <laughs> Oh no, I guess it's gonna take a lot longer than I thought. Oh dear. Okay, you know what? Maybe that won't work. Oh no. Um, can we move Apollo? Is that going to work? Apollo, can I move you, my dear? Let's see if I could move Apollo. And is it gonna clear up his... Oh, look at that. And it did clear up his stable. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, this is exactly what we need. Good, 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 good. So he's headed on out and he's gonna go to France and it's gonna take him a while to get there. But that means we now have some room so that we can get our beautiful Rocky Mountain full moved in. So let's put her over here. And actually, hmm, one second. I'm gonna look up a good name for her. And there we go. All right, you guys, you know, I'm really filling Willow and Willow is another one of the amazing names of our hundred names that you guys have suggested. So we're going to go with Willow. Come on in, little one. Oh my goodness. And look at her. Oh my gosh. And we can hire stable hands to help like educate her now. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. <gasps> you guys, look at her. Oh, she's stunning. Can we grow her up real fast? Is that something we could do? Oh my gosh, what's this? Oh, we found some little coins hidden in the grass. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful she is. Willow, 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 what am I gonna do with you? Oh my goodness, and it looks like she's gonna be another one of those hard to raise little ones. Oh my gosh, she is just so pretty. But yeah, it does look like she's going to be another one of those hard to level up horses because of her rarity level. So we don't get quite as much experience working with her as we do with the other horses. Hi, pretty girl. Oh my gosh, look at her. Just gorgeous. All right, so now let's see. Oh, now she already wants soybeans. Yeah, look at that. It almost did nothing in terms of experience. So she's probably going to take us quite a while to raise, unfortunately. Darn, I was really hoping that she would be a little bit cheaper to raise. But no, it's going to take us a long time to get enough experience with her. So let's see if we can have our friends help out. What happens? If we ask, ask your friends to board your horse for two hours. Reward plus 200 experience on her. <gasps> Would that be enough to level her up a few times? It just might be. Let's see what we get. Let's check. It might be enough to get her up to level four. That would be that would be really helpful and it would be a lot cheaper than feeding her like this. But I wonder if we could manage that on our own in that time. Oof. Oof. You're a toughie. You're a toughie to get there, but she's gorgeous and she has beautiful green eyes. This is very exciting to have gotten such a rare baby. All right, let's go ahead and feed her up a little bit. I can't wait till she's old enough to breed. We could have Rocky Mountain horses. That might be our specialty. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she's going to be hard. You're going to be so rough on us, huh? You're not going to make it easy. All right, let's go ahead and feed her again. There you go, sweetie. Yeah. There you go. Are you almost level two? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to have to plant more grass. <laughs> I think we're going to have to put down some more grass for sure. So let's go ahead and do that real quick because she's eating through our grass stores. Hungry little foal. 
Oh my gosh. And so pretty. All right, and this should help to just put some grass down real fast. But yes, yeah, so we're kind of at an interesting impasse because what do we do? Do I keep moving horses out of here? We are, if you recall, trying to breed up some rare horses, but this totally took the cake. This actually was a tremendously lucky move because when it comes to horse rarity, ugh, let's see, let's slide back up and sort. When it comes to horse rarity, we actually have one of the rare horses that are available right now, the Rocky Mountain variety. So there's not really much point in trying to go back and get a Creelio, except for the fact that these guys can be used to create the amazing Leo horse that's only going to be around for 20 more days. So the Leo horse and its rare like constellations and markings and really great stamina and speed. And to breed it, we do need a Creelio. Hmm. So, hmm, and that's a good reason to keep our Canadian. And, well, our Canadian is actually this guy right here. So this is our Mustang. So it looks like we might be looking into selling Apple, but then that leaves me with no female horses. So let's go ahead and see what kind of stallion has been discovered on the stallion safari in just a moment. Let's check our little notes. Georgie, Jaina, unknown and unknown, as usual, thank you for visiting. Oh, Mathil passed us up in the races. Georgie, thank you for petting our horses. We got a helping hand from Unknown. We have a reward to claim from our friends. Oh, oh, how fun. Isabel Glacier became your friend. Let's have a visit. Yeah, let's go see what horses she has. That might help us decide on which ones we're going to keep because I now know we can use all of our friends' horses to breed with as well. Very useful. Hello. Oh, she's got a nice big farm, too. All right, and then what are you? A standard bred female. And we've got an Appaloosa male. And then over here, we've got a Mustang. A male Mustang. So, hmm. That's good to know. Let's look at some of our other friends. Aaliyah. I really need to see if we can find a Canadian Pacer or another Canadian, and then I know we'll be in the clear. And I guess we could breed our Canadian to make a Canadian. Alright. Little baby. Hello, little baby. Oh, just baby foals here right now. Precious little things. Alright. So let's go over to Danielle's ranch, his Montana ranch, driving around Montana. Probably either on our horse or in a pickup truck right now. Seeing what we can find. Ah, here we go. A quarter. And an American Indian. Is this a male? It is a male with good stamina. Ooh, things aren't looking good for both all of a sudden. What about over here? We've got- oh, a Canadian Pacer! A Canadian Pacer male! That's what we need to breed a Canadian against, but we have a Canadian male, so oh dear. All right, so that's good to know. And an Andalusa female. Okay. Okay, so we're finding some pretty interesting things. All right, so a male Canadian Pacer right now is at Daniel's place. So I'll remember that, and we're gonna visit Mathilda really quickly to see what is hiding at her place. Dun dun dun! Oh goodness! Oh, handsome horses! Oh, and beautiful pathing! So what do we have here? We have a quarter. We have a quarter. And we have an Appaloosa. Alright! Hmm! So I know there are some Canadian Pacers. Oh, and look at how pretty this farm is. My goodness. Oh, I didn't know you could upgrade our homes. We're just living in a little shack compared. My gosh. All right. So I think, hmm, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I know that we're very, very lucky with our Rocky Mountain girl. That is definitely something I'm getting for sure. So let's see what kind of stallion we have the opportunity to get. Thanks to the stallion safari. Look at her. I wouldn't mind if we just specialized in trying to breed these guys. They're just gorgeous. Willow, we're so lucky to have gotten you. And you're so hungry for your grass, huh? So what did the stallion safari find? Oh, he didn't find any horses. 
Okay, he got us some carrots at least. And now we're like almost full on storage. But I guess that's a good thing. We don't have to stress and worry and fret because we ended up, there we go. There you go, sweetie. Because we did end up with um, carrots instead of a horse that we'd have to wrestle with. You are so hungry. I wish I could get you to level up. She's going to be a handful to level up. All right, so I think let's look at what breeding would do with our current horses. So I want a Canadian out of Bolt. So we need like another Canadian. So if we bred them, that's giving us the family tree on how to get a Leo. Uh, and a Leo would be really fun. But if we bred them, breeding event reward. It would give us a Proco. Huh, an American Indian, I think, is what it's trying to tell us. Oh, those are their names. A Mustang. So there's a chance of getting a Mustang. Or a chance at getting another Canadian female. And we actually would want the Canadian female to breed with the Canadian male. Because we don't really want another American Indian. Now, if I did breed the... No, no, no. Come here. Oh, dear. I think we committed to the breeding them. Whoops. That wasn't my intention. That wasn't my intention. So now we're, we're on the committed side. I really want a Canadian. 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 Okay, well, we've got the new one instead. Another new American Indian. Um, you know what? We'll, we'll, go ahead, we'll go ahead and do that. And then when he is born, then I think we'll, we'll just gently sell him because we already have one of these guys. So there we go. All right, that's happening. Let's see. Anything else? We have some awards to claim. And maybe we'll do some upgrades around here. Can we upgrade this paddock? Not yet. Oh, but I did see. There, we tidied it up a little bit. And let's see if we can at least level this little girl up to level four or level one. Come on, sweetie. Oh my gosh. Oh, the green feet should definitely help you. The green feet should definitely put you up over being to level two. And then what I think we'll do is we'll hire some farm hands to help her out and we'll see how that helps with gaining experience over a couple hours. So hopefully when we come back there, that's much better. Hopefully when we come back, she'll be uh, even more willing, even more in the mood to be close to becoming a, a level five and then once she's there we could breed her and get all sorts of rare horses or get variety or get more of her line which are worth quite a bit so she could really help us because she now is into the rare the rare tier she could really help us with just figuring out rare horses and she's so pretty all right let's feed you a couple times here's some of the super rare feed what are you going to think of that huh sweetie Oh, 41 experience. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, that makes me happy. Oh, I'll feed you one more time. I just can't stop. You just get so excited when it's a new baby. And I have a feeling she is going to be one of the founding definitive varieties that we raise here on our, on our ranch. Are you all pal? All right, one more. One more, then I swear I'm going to stop. But at least we're definitely making it so that when we get you uh, the farm hands, they will definitely be able to help you level up, I hope. There we go. Some soybeans. She's a hungry girl. All right. And level three. Good. Look at her. She's worth 2,485 coins now. My gosh. All right. You lucky duck. It is mucking out your stall. I can totally do that. Oh, I just, oh, she's got me around her little hoof. She definitely does. There we go. Now she's going to be comfy while she lays down. And now we're going to back up a little bit. And we will go ahead and hire some stable hands. So ask your friends to board your horse for two hours. So we can hire three people. So let's hire the most experienced people. I believe Michelle is also who we bred our horse up against so that we were able to get Willow in the first place. And that should increase 200 experience. Let's see, okay. 
There we go. So, oh, she's off. She's off in the fields to gain some experience for now. All right, so that's awesome. And these guys <laughs> are going to end up, can we ask for help and like, let's see. What happens if we hire these guys? Oh, there we go, the baby's ready already. Hello, little one. Well, it's wonderful that you're here, but I'm sorry we don't have any room for you. So gently, gently sell you. And we'll leave off by breeding one last time our Mustang against, let's see, what happens if we put Mustang, did we put Mustang and American Indian together that time? I need a Canadian female. That's what we're trying to go for here. Um, because we need a Canadian Pacer. And that's going to be, oh really, standard bread and a Mustang. Now I know! Now I know, because we need a Canadian and a Canadian Pacer to get the Creelio, don't we? I'm doing it the wrong way. Alright, that gives me an idea. So we just need to go find um, either a female Mustang. Let me see, Canadian Pacer. I just need to go find a standard bred male. <gasps> That's all we need to do. Okay, let's go to our friend's place. Pretty sure that Aaliyah had some standard bred males, or was it Danielle? I love seeing that. And remember, you guys, you can check the video description. If you play on, on an account that's hooked up to Facebook or your parents' Facebook, you can check the video description on how to friend us. And then I can start seeing your, your ranches and go and visit them, too. All right, so I think Danielle was the one who had them. So let's pop over there. I just need a standard bread mail. Ooh, to bring it against my Mustang. Let's see, what about this guy? That's a quarter. And this is the Andalusian female. This is the male Canadian Pacer, which I wish I could breed up against my a female Canadian, but I don't have a female Canadian, darn. All right, what about Jade? Let's try again. All of our friends have such beautiful ranches too. It's just like playing Farmville again and getting in the mood for trying different places and different mixes and farms. All right, what do we have over here? Hi guys. There you go. It's a Canadian male. Okay, we already have one of those. Let's see. And loosen a Mustang female. Okay. Darn, I just need a standard bred male. Um, let's try... Michelle, what horses did you have again? Aaliyah had all of the baby foals. Man, see how tricky it is? You think, oh, I can just run among my friends and they'll have the right kind. It's very tricky. Alright, a quarter. And we have a Canadian male again. And the Missouri Foxtrotter female, which rings a bell for how we're trying to breed everyone up, I think. Alright, well I'm just about ready to say that this isn't going to work and go back and try again. Because we just need a Canadian Pacer. We need to get that Creelio. Because it would be really fun to try out getting the Leo. Alright, let's pet everybody here. Hello everyone! Andalusian. Standard bred female. And, ooh, a French horse of some kind. Interesting. All right, well, let's go home. And it looks like we're going to just have to keep things local on our current ranch to be able to get what we're going for. And now I'm a little curious, though, because we did run into that Missouri Fox Trotter. How to breed. Yeah, that's going to take a while to get this part, to get to the Dutch. So let's just focus on getting the Canadian Pacer again. And Canadian Pacer... Come back over here. Mm, standard bread, American Indian, standard bread, and a Mustang. Hmm. It looks like we might have to sell apple to get a standard bread. That's. Standard bread are pretty common, aren't they? And we have an American Indian we could breed against. All right. Hmm. You know, I'm going to wait on that perplexing question till next time. And instead, I'm going to use a little bit of our funds. Can we upgrade our little home? Is that something that can happen? Nope, I guess I need to buy a new house. What about this? Can I upgrade our little storage? Not yet. 
Mm, can't upgrade the breeding thing. Oh, but I do think we can actually start... Let's wait. We can actually start upgrading the stables, maybe? Let's go in and check on... Hi, big boy. How you doing? Hang on, Bolt. I'm trying to figure out if I can upgrade your little stable. Is that something that can happen? Alright, come here, Apple. I love you too, lo lovely lady. It's just I'm trying to figure out... Alright. Well, fudge to the knuckles. Nothing quite figured out there, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Alright, you guys. Well, let's go ahead and we're just going to breed the, this, this line again. Alright, so what I need... Mustang and Canadian. What kind of babies would you two make, hmm? Gonna breed you two again. Yay, breeding event reward! And I believe these were the ones we bred last time. Yeah, for the American. And then we have a chance of getting a male Canadian. I need a female. And a female Mustang. So this is completely not what we need. Darn! The ones we already have completely. We're gonna retry with one one little coin. Alright. Another male Canadian. Oh, Alright, we'll just roll with it this time. We're just gonna roll with it this time and we'll see what happens, guys. It's tricky to get these genetics going correctly. And we have a special Canadian! Woohoo! Well, we'll just keep this little one for now. There we go. Because why not? And I will see you guys next time. So hopefully I'll make a little bit more progress and I'll be able to report back to you. Even if it means we have to see Apple or Bolt head out, which would be really sad. Know that it's all so that we can continue working towards getting some very beautiful rare horses on our ranch. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye